Hello all. Well, today is election day in the United States of America, and I thought I'd do a little something different and special. I'm going to be covering uh, election games, election games that I have in my collection. So let's start with Demacher. Actually, let's not start with Demacher. This deals with uh, German politics and German elections, German state elections, and is very complex and is one of the... Um, Premier Games, one of the first games really to come out uh, on elections and politics and has a pretty deep uh, play and experience. But let's focus on U.S. elections since it is Election Day in the United States today. So in chronological order, I'll start with Revolution of 1828. This is a Stefan Feld game. It's for two players, and it's more of a kind of a, a tug-of-war, uh, back-and-forth type game. You're going to be drawing these uh, tokens out of the bag, and they give you special actions based on the token or give you influence in certain areas. And you're going to be going kind of back-and-forth on this board here to determine control in certain regions. So New England, Mid-Atlantic, South Atlantic north central and south central and then you have the press and the press is kind of this wild card that can um help or hurt you depending on uh the tokens that uh that come out of that so this is a, a very abstract type game uh but it's a, it's a good game it's a good two-player back and forth uh as i said a little bit of a tug of war type game uh put out by uh, stefan feld the next one i have in chronological order is a Divided Republic, and this is dealing with the election of 1860, very uh, controversial and important election in uh, United States history, and you're going to pay one of uh, four factions, the Republicans with Abraham Lincoln, that was the, the first uh, Republican president, the Southern Democrats with uh, John Breckinridge, the Constitutional Unionist by John Bell, or the Northern Democrats of Stephen Douglas, if you're familiar with the famous Stephen Douglas debates, or the, the Douglas Lincoln-Douglas debates, which was when uh, they were joining for Illinois Senate. So here's your cards for the, each of the different uh, factions, John Bell, and kind of gives you your setup, and the setups are different for each one, and then gives you the actions they can do. And this is somewhat of a card control game. The cards are going to have uh, point values or influence values that you're going to be putting, you know, cubes on the map. There's a map. So you have the United States and different regions have different uh, point values or influence values. Uh, and you have your PRC box. That's where you're putting the cubes based on the cards you play. The rule book here, full color rule book. I see there's an example of a card, and the number up in the corner there is uh, the number of cubes you're going to be playing in the area. So this recreates the 1860 election. Um, here's your, some of the cards. comes with a little tray in there. So you get an example of the cards, and they have some events as well. So kind of a typical card-driven game that you don't have action. It's how many cubes you get to put uh, in certain areas. And then... Um, for control, and so eventually get to um, the election. At the end of the game is the election, and see who wins. So that's the 1860 election. Next one I have is Bull Moose. This is the 1912 election. Another um, kind of multi-partied election. You know, the United States is primarily a two-party system. But these are uh, examples of some of the multi-party type elections. So in, in 1912, you had, um, you know, uh, Teddy Roosevelt had been the Republican uh, president, uh, bailed out, and then wanted to get back in the race to run. Uh, and it kind of divided the ticket and ended up having um, the Democrats under Woodrow Wilson winning. But you also had... Um, Others in the game, Let's see here, look, there's a rule book. It's a very short rule book, small rule book, and uh, again, full color. And this is another cube, you know, where you're putting cubes in play um, based on 
you know, the different areas. And then you have the, as you can see there, you have the, the votes. This is the electoral votes that those different areas have. And you tally those up to see who wins. But you have the Prohibition Party. You had the Socialist Party. I think this might have been one of the um, largest uh, showings. It wasn't great, but it was one of the largest showings by a, by a, a third party in an election. The Democratic Party and then the Republican Party. So you had Taft, who was um, had been president, and then um, the Bull Moose Party, which is basically the uh, pro. Well, it's not the Prohibition Party. I'm trying to figure out where uh, Roosevelt was at here on the different parties. I oh, might be over here. The Bull Moose Party, the Progressive Party. So you know, Roosevelt, Teddy Roosevelt was a progressive. Which has different connotations today, but basically some of the same uh, principles. Anyway, so that is uh, 1912. Uh, it's kind of a cube builder to get electoral votes and a card-driven game at that. The next uh, election that I have in chronological order is 1960, the making of the president. And this one, in my opinion, is the best of the lot. Um, of the ones I have. This is a great game. It's two-player, and it is dealing with the 1960 election. It has a draw bag that you're drawing cubes out of the bag, and that determines some of the actions or where you're going to be placing the cubes. You know, the red cubes are for uh, Nixon, and the blue cubes are for Kennedy. Again, the 1960 election was between uh, John F. Kennedy and uh, Richard Nixon, and you have, uh, so you're going to be drawing cubes out to give you actions. Uh, you're trying to get a control of different states that give you the electoral votes. If you can see there, there's momentum in this. There's issues that are going to be taking place, and there's going to be certain issues that are important, and, and what you play for influence uh, makes a difference on those issues. It's card-driven, and it's going to give you, you know, your campaign vote points on what actions you can do and like you can travel to regions you can campaign you can try to get endorsements you're dealing with um dealing with the issues and there's kind of a little box here for each of the different regions it's kind of reminiscent of like twilight struggle or um you know a lot of your uh labyrinth games like that that are card driven with you have a box that you're trying to ex uh, exercise your influence in and again, you have cards that are kind of drive the play of the game. But this is, uh, again, the drawstring bag, drawing cubes out, and, and how those affect actions is a little bit different in this game than the other games. But basically, you're using cards to put cubes or influence on the board, and, and you tally up your influence to figure out who gets the most votes. So that's the uh, uh, 18, uh, sorry, 1960, making of the president, probably the... In my opinion, the, the best of the lot, but it is only two-player. Where some of these other ones, since they're dealing with multiple uh, parties or multiple factions, uh, you can play more than one, more than two players on this. Then you have Campaign Manager 2008. This is dealing with the 2008 election, which was between uh, uh, John McCain and Barack Obama. And again, this is uh, same designers, uh, Leonhardt and Matthews that were did Making the President. And this is kind of a, a streamlined version of that game. It it's, uh, takes some of the same elements from uh, eight, 1960 and kind of condenses it. And you have a, a chart. Instead of having a map, you're going to have these uh, state tiles that have the amount of – that are, are – their length is based on how many electoral votes they have. So once you start filling this up, you're eventually going to get to – you know, 270 here. So that's a neat little thing of putting these state maps when you get control uh, on this board here to figure out who's got the the most uh, votes. And it has ZNN, because this was from Z-Man Games as opposed to CNN. So there's some cards in there. There's some there's some press cards in there that uh, kind of like, are like events that take place during the game and kind of change things up a little bit on what's going on. Um, you have your disc to track uh, your actions, and then you have uh, there's a going negative result. So you roll on this, and it uh, gives you some benefits if you if you're going negative, so to speak. Uh, all campaigns seem to be going negative these days. So here, uh, you know, the, here's some of the cards. The cards kind of give you um, some actions you can do. 
and tells you what's going on with that. And so you have a McCain deck and you have a Obama deck with the cars that they're, it's not driven the same way as in eight, uh, 1960, uh, but does have some of the same similar features on that. So this is, and then there, there, there's going to be the, the um, I guess I have them put underneath here. Yeah, here I have. So here's your state cards. So you're going to have these cards and you're going to put those discs to show where your support is at. So this is you know, red, two red and one blue here. So you have your electoral votes and then the issue that it's, that's important for is the economy and I guess military is the issue here. And then you have some uh, interest groups that you can appeal to. And so you're going to be, the issues are going to be uh, affecting, you know, the support in that state. And then the interest groups are going to uh, affect the support. And then you're trying to get as many of your, you know, if you're playing uh, the Republicans, you want to get more red uh, discs on here. If you're playing the Democrats, you want to get some more blue discs on here and eventually take control of that state. And there's Indiana. So you have all the different states are, are laid out there. And then when you, of course, when you get control of them, you're going to get your votes on here to try to get to 270 along that track. So that's something a little bit different here. So it plays, it has a lot of similarities to um, 1860, but it does play, uh, but it does play differently. Uh, and it does play a little bit quicker. There's a little bit quicker game to play. And again, it's a two player game. So there you have it. Uh, those are the election games, the U S election games that, uh, I have. And I thought I'd share with you today. Campaign manager, good, uh, two player game quicker than 1860, but 18, uh, sorry, quicker than 1960, but 1960, I think is a better game overall. You have a uh, bull moose. This is a, an interesting game, an interesting election. Uh, especially since you have uh, up to, I think you, got, you can play five different factions in this or five different parties in this. So, and the same with Divided Republic, you have four. So if you're interested in these elections, which were very important uh, elections in U.S. history and kind of changed the, the direction of where the country was going uh, and changed some of the, po the, the parties, the parties kind of developed differently after each of these elections and, and changed their platforms a little bit. Um, Democrats became more progressive uh after this and of course the influence of of teddy roosevelt who was one of the leading progressives of the time as a republican um the uh election of 1860 of course was very important to, to the u.s it uh precipitated the uh, civil war and in some respects uh led to the civil war uh the election of uh of Abraham Lincoln. So uh, uh, these games have like putting cubes on a map uh, and using uh, actions to get influence in the areas. So they all play a little bit similar in that respect, but you get a different feel for these two games. And then of course this game right here is a two player abstract uh, tug of war, uh, pulling uh, uh, chits out of a, of a bag and playing them for their different uh, attributes. Uh, but a good game, real good game. This probably plays the quickest of any of the games that I've shown you. So hopefully that's helpful. Uh, if you haven't already, uh, by the time I post this, go out and vote. And I uh, hope you find this helpful. Thank you.